So the most unexpected item in my bag is... Hi everyone, I'm Rupi Gore and I'm ready to spill it. So I've had this bag for five years now and I had my eye on it for so long. I think that it's the perfect tote. It's by the designer Monster Gabrielle and I was lucky enough to have them gifted to me five years ago and it is absolutely perfect. I love that it's so big so I can fit all of my things but I also just love the simplicity. It feels casual, simple, yet elevated. I brought this bag today because it fits everything and it's a bag that I usually take around with me when I'm traveling. I've taken it for work, I've taken it for fun, I take it for so many different things and that's what I love about it. It just works really well and then it also fits into my luggage. All right, let's see what's in my bag. So the first item that I wanna start with is probably the one that's most important to me and it's like a part of me and it's, it's a journal that I've been writing in for years and years. I write in the same one, so I have like a shelf at home and it's just filled with the same journal and I fill it up and then I get a new one and I fill it up and then I get a new one and it just makes me feel like, you know, life changes so much and we go through so many ups and downs, but this journal where I, you know, have all of my writing is like the one thing that stays consistent. The second thing in my bag is postcards from each city that I've visited. Uh, tour can be just so fast, it can move so quick. I decided I need to collect one thing from every city as a souvenir. So what I do is I collect postcards that I love and on the back, instead of sending them to my family and friends, I keep them for myself. And what I do is I fill them up with my favorite memories of that show in that city. This one is Washington and this one's Philly. The next thing in my bag and one of my favorite items is a fuzzy bucket hat because I just think that you know, sometimes you're so tired, you're so exhausted, but you know, you need to like bring up all the energy and there's nothing better than a bucket hat that looks like this. And it also allows me to really like dig deep into my inner Rihanna energy. And what's even better is that it's pink, which is my favorite color. The next thing in my bag is my fourth book, Healing Through Words. And this is actually the thing, love it so much, but the thing I regret carrying because it is so damn heavy. But I carry it with me because I created this book to help me get over my own writer's block, which a lot of people are shocked that I experienced because they're like, but like, isn't that your job? Like, how could you experience writer's block after writing so many books? But you would be surprised I experience, I feel like I'm sometimes more creatively blocked than I am inspired. So I created this book and it's supposed to you know, help me overcome writer's block and inspire me to write on days that I don't feel like you know, writing is possible. The reason I actually ended up taking my creative writing exercises and turning them into a book is because so many of my readers were reaching out to me asking me how they could make writing a self-care practice. I try to keep that practice going for myself even when I'm traveling and on the road, which is why I carry this around. So this book will come to breakfast with me and to coffee. And when I'm feeling inspired, I'll start writing in it. But the moment that I begin to regret carrying it because it's so heavy, that's when I will give it to somebody. You know, here you go. This is my personal copy of my book. I wrote something in it. Please don't share it on the internet. And they get really excited. And then I also get really happy because then I, can, don't, I don't have to carry it anymore. One item I never leave the house without other than my phone is lip gloss. And the one that I've been carrying around for the last couple years is Fenty. My Fenty lip glosses. Rihanna is a creative genius. The end. I think we can end the video now, but we'll keep going. These are the ones I have. I actually have the Fenty Beauty Cream in every color. Oh, just so good. I, I can't even describe. I was not even a lip gloss girl until Fenty. It's like sheer enough, but there's enough color and it just mwah, makes your lips all kissable and soft and lovely. Okay, the next item in my bag are my many pens. These are just like part of my collection. I have this fear that anytime I'm gonna need a pen, I'm not gonna have a pen. So then I travel with a gigantic pencil case full of them. And let me tell you about them actually. So always carry Sharpies because this is what I love to sign books with. I just steal them from my readers because they'll come up to me, they'll hand me a Sharpie and be like, can you please sign my book? And I'm like, absolutely. And then I just like take the Sharpie home with me. Sometimes hotels have really cute pens, this being one of them. And it was like 
Really nice, well-designed, cube, so I had to have it. This one was actually a gift, but these Kaweco pens, I probably own at least 25, one in every color. I'm noticing a pattern here with this one of every color. This one is the one that I write with the most. When I started tour, I was really excited. Really quickly I realized, oh my God, this is really exhausting. My therapist was like, we need to find the small joys. And so what do you love to do in the morning? I said, how I stay grounded is I write. And she's like, okay, well, what's your favorite color? And I was like, well, my, my favorite color is pink. And she's like, well, then I want you to go out, buy a bunch of pink pens. So that when you're sitting at that desk and you're writing with your little pink pen, it will just make you feel better. And I was like, listen, that just sounds too easy. It sounds like it's not gonna work. But you know what? She was right. I can't even read my own writing, but it's pink, so who cares? It's fabulous. The most unexpected thing in my bag, and one I actually carry with me everywhere, travels with me everywhere, is a body heater. <laughs> or a heating pad, whatever you call it. This is my boyfriend. <laughs> Sleeps with me every night. Raffs, oh, it's so good, it's so good. You know, being on stage for two hours every single day in heels, it all begins to hurt a lot. And so through every period and every body ache, this baby is with me. You can get these like at any department store, Target. Yeah, I think Target has them anywhere. Um, I think it is Sunbeam, please sponsor me send these to all my family and friends. Everyone should try it and let me tell you, people think I'm like an 85 year old woman with this and you know what, I might be, but once you try it, you will also become an 85 year old woman and love it. The next thing in my bag is a Polaroid camera, which I think is the most fun. I'm really into documenting and uh, fashion is a really big part of my show. For this tour, I collaborated with a designer, Money Jussel, from my hometown, Toronto, and we designed, co-designed 60 different looks together for this year. And so before each show, I love to have a Polaroid of me taken. And then when I meet friends along the way, I take pictures of them as well. And I hope, I, I want to collect them and then by the end of the end of the year, you know, have a whole album with all of these photos. The next item in my bag, and the most delicious item in my bag, is all of my Mexican candies, which make me so, 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 so happy. My favorite are these Belperindos. And when we started the tour, I brought bags, bags of these on my tour bus. And they, all my team were like, what is that? Are we gonna like it? And I was like, just you watch, you will be obsessed. And let me tell you, by the end of it, there weren't even any left for me. And I was finding these wrappers in all of their pockets. They're just like walking around and the, my, my Pulperindo wrappers are falling all over the floor. And I was like, see, I told you you'd be obsessed. My love for them started with the originals. But then very quickly, we moved on to the extra spicy. I don't always go for the mango, but I have the mango just in case. I'm Punjabi, love my spice, and so love my flavor, and like these candies are just, you know, at my level. The next item in my bag is this Osea Ocean Eyes Gel Roller Ball situation, which I love, and I'm so sorry if I'm saying the brand name wrong. Is it Osea, is it Osea, is it OC? Whatever it is, it, it works really well, and the, the reason I love using it is because, you know, right before a flight, getting up after a show, you're just like, ugh, I am a walking zombie, and so I just will always like roll it under my eyes before a flight, after a flight. I'm just always just rolling, it's great. Because I'm on tour, I am currently traveling with like two big bags of jewelry and I always carry them um, in these like see-through bags. So I, I open up my giant case and it all explodes out and that's fine. But at least I can see, you know, when I'm styling the looks, okay, we want these or we want these or do we want this? And so I just own hundreds of these like little bags and just have these little cute little things in them. I got a necklace here too. I don't know, more is more. I could have added this on today. Thanks for watching me spill it. <laughs>